In the spring of 2014, I got an email from my older brother that read, Your thoughts? It was an invitation from his sailor friend Baron who warned that this is not going to be a vacation sail downwind. So, like a good little brother, I wrote back, Holy crap, yes. Adventure time. I'm so down. One hundred bucks and a Craigslist rideshare later, we were drinking beers with Baron in Santa Barbara. Waking up on a floating, rocking boat, a hammock of fruit above my head. Weather forced us to stay in the marina for three long days. We spent our time getting familiar with the boat as Baron revealed the nature of our journey. He had logged well over 3,000 miles sailing down the coast of California, Baja, California, and up into the Sea of Cortez when the call to return home finally came. Weather and currents were moving south at a time when he needed to find himself in the San Francisco Bay. So he enlisted our stupid sorry asses to help him motor sail during any calm parts of the day, which turned out to actually be nights. We worked from internet cafes in town while attempting to stave off boredom. Water played with light to show us little dancing movies. We listened to the wind that kept us landlocked, singing in the palm trees. Finally, the forecast seemed good enough to set out, so we got a quick charting lesson from Baron. Oh, we're ready? Yeah, it looks good. And so, you know, part of your engine checks, you know, you, you, you check everything. Yeah, get all your stuff put away. Port to port, Dave, port to port. It didn't take long to discover that we were in for a rougher night than we had anticipated. Big waves. Strong wind. The motor was deafening. There was very little sleep before my two-hour shift at midnight. Pitch rolling blackness, eyes focused on the GPS and radar, scanning, scanning the horizon for signs of boats headed our way, oil rigs dotting the distance, itching and pulling at the full body harness securing me to the cockpit. Baron had said that it's not to save your life, but rather to be able to find your body in the morning. And finally sleep. Beautiful morning, playing slalom with oil rigs. What she said to me. Wanna, wanna Lay your head. And a little sympathy. help from the wind, and we were anchoring in Avila Beach by late afternoon. Then three more bad weather days of bobbing in Avila Bay before we were refueling and prepping the boat for a dawn departure. Born to be a bachelor. Out 
told me, okay, that's fine. You know, now I'm trying to catch you. And you, without talking to me, be guilty of the same. Just after leaving, Baron smelled gasoline and noticed that the jerry cans lashed to the side of the boat were leaking. The wind was cooperating, so he made an executive decision to push forward, while also attempting to repair the leaks as best as possible. The sea flowed by and the day wore on, the beautiful California coast keeping us company all the way. One last sunset on the boat before another long night of motoring through complete darkness. As though the black ocean floor wasn't black enough, a thick fog congealed during the night. Scanning the horizon was no longer a viable method of avoiding a head-on collision. Eyes fixated on the radar screen. Finally, the last and foggy day arrived. Santa Cruz broke through the veil and a sigh of relief escaped from three pairs of lips. Sans Souci means no worries. Land, Santa Cruz, animals with four legs walking on solid ground. The ground where Dave and I were born the home where Dave and I were born, the room where Dave and I were born. Mm -hmm.